drivers in this one qualified for the grand final. Uh, thanks to our arms and race teams for uh, still supporting the meeting despite these conditions and uh, we'll forward to uh, entertaining you as good as we can. So uh, we're right now rolling yellow. So then we're rolling off on this one, it's Sky Kid and Ricardo Delivery. And uh, Nicole wants to come to 716 who will be leading them off at the dump of the green. That goes down, we're away, and the racing junior banger hit number one. Oh, Sky Good Run spins out straight away there. And oh my word, a couple of them have got hard, very hard there. Jamie Carson, one of those, and uh, obviously these uh, very tricky conditions have been very difficult for the drivers to negotiate. A bit of a pilot down there in the uh, junior bangers with several of them involved down there. But uh, we keep going on, it's Evie Smith who leads the way now in Canon 5 1 9. Evie Smith, the race leader. Ruben Wright also stopped down here on the home straight, but Evie Smith making uh, light work of the condition so far in 519. Nicola Wood also going well in car number 716, and it looks like Courtney Webb in third place at the minute in car number 627. Jade Ellis rejoins on that now, now for being involved in that uh, early final. But uh, the drivers now uh, getting to grips with uh, the dodgy conditions out there. Oh, somebody's going to spin out there. It's 11 Sky Gugu who's the lap down. She uh, spins out there. It's 5 foot 9 who leads. Charlie Finney spins out as well in cover 737 right in front of the leader. And that sees the leader going to the fence down there on the road side there. Now we're going to have a change up front. It's Nicola Watt in kind of a 716 who hits the front. Evie Smith has uh, damaged something there. And she's come to a stop now in the uh, 519 car. But over and leading the way, it is car number 716, Nicola One who leads. Nicola One, there she goes there through, Mr. Starter, one back to please, if no, her, second place. 668, second place, George Cousins and uh, Boggy in third, 51. From the red grade, he's absolutely fine for a postgraduate of uh, Briscoe Mini Stocks Racing. And uh, looks like he's uh, going very, very well in the uh, junior bangers as things stand. So up front, we look for our race leader. There she is, Mr. Starrett, Nicola Watt. In kind of a 716 leads away. 668, George Gove in second. But he's going to pressure all the time for a car number 51 Maynard. And it's Maynard who's going to say, oh, the leader's gone! The leader's gone! And Maynard goes! Uh, takes a wide line there. It's going to be 668 who comes through to take it up, Mr. Starrett. 668 going out of back straight. Maynard will set up on the charge once again to try and catch out the car in car number 51. So here they come through them, 668 the race leader. 51 Maynard in second. Number 13 in third place. And then 455 Lexi Finney rounding off the uh, top four as we stand. So then they go down the back straight, 668 comes into the race leader. In second spot is 51 Maynard. Chasing all the time, third place is Carol 13. So 455 Lexi Finney had a bit of a problem there as she loses some ground. So they're leading the way, it's still 668 Cousins, but 51 Maynard is catching. They got on the back straight, Cousins on the back bumper, the lap down the back mark, he could have a car and uh, Maynard's going to make his bid for uh, the lead. Maynard tangles, 75 Maynard's off, Maynard tangles as the race leader, and in fact it's Maynard there who suffers damage and uh, retires to the infield. So uh, Johnny Maynard there looking like uh, a dead cert for winning this one. But uh, he's ended up on the middle, so 668 is the race leader. Going down the back straight, Carol 13 second, 455 Finney is now third. As uh, the rain uh, continues to fall, 11 Sky Gun Gun there spins off again, it's 668 who leads the way. Three laps to go next time, Starter, three laps next time around. Carol number 668. 668 comes as the race leader, 13 in second place, going down the back straight. Third place is uh, Lexi Finney, and uh, possibly uh, it looks like 13 is catching the race leader. So then 668 the race leader. And 13 still in that second place. But oh my word, problems there for the leader, and uh, also the second place driver. But uh, the leader gets turned around, he's in that pilot. Out of the 13 escapes, goes uh, down the back straight, leading the way. Finney's now to second place, is Lexi Finney, kind of a 455. And now we're going to get 10 finishes in this. Well, it's really quite interesting to see. Column 13, the race leader. As the lap balls come out, 
certainly tricky down there on the roadside bank. Here's the second place driver, Lexi Finney, 455, 668 reports the first one. So uh, still could be well for a trophy there. Well, the laps are counting now, and Lexi Finney's got one lap to go in car number 455. For 30. Thirteen, the rest of you. Four, five, five. Has now got a lot to go. It's the starter in four, five, five. Thirteen is miles ahead. Oh, and plenty of problems on there. Back of the last six, six, eight. Can move back into second place, Mr. Starter. And there could well be a chance for that going down the back straight. No problems with racing number 13. We keep our eyes down the back straight at 668 and 455. Battle for second and third. But who's that going to be with the best drive off? It could well be Finney, who's getting the most traction coming down to the line. But 668 holds on to take second place. 455, Finney, third. Keep them going, Mr. Starter. They all have three drivers completed this one so far. We need the top 10 to uh, qualify for the final. And uh, through they all come. How can we start? Oh, no, rest plays, rest plays. Alex Mubain takes the lead now, then he comes to 6-10. Alex 
Lance with Mike Yellick, Brian leads the way. In 6 6 down, in 6 1 0, 6 6 9, car track second. Alex McVay, sorry, leading the way. He comes to 6 10. Uh, look at a bit of a wet weather expert here. Is uh, Alex McVay really flying through? Well, car track, he's staying with him. In car number 6 6 9. And uh, Harry Andrews, good for it to Oh, but car track there gets it a bit wrong. Slides out to uh, Nick. Lose a bit of time. Something to his point now in third spot. But up front and leading the way. It's a 6 10, Alex McBain. Alex McBain, the race leader. Here he comes, 6 1 0. Oh, 6 9 9 is gone. Half of us come, the 10 to second, Mr. Starter. Harry Andrews, a 6 10 leading the way. Harry Andrews, somewhere adrift in car number 10. Third place is Reese Parry now in car number 7 5 0. And the uh, rest of them come on through still. 6 10 it is the leads. Three laps to go next time, we start a three next time around. We're going to 6 1 0. Alex McVay is absolutely flying. Here he is just uh, going through these uh, drivers. 41. Archie Hallwood. The next one to be lap by the time of McVay. McVay in the race lead lane. He comes to 6 1 0. Harry Andrews second. 750 Parry in third. But uh, McVay really giving everybody a lesson here in uh, has a race in uh, very unfavorable conditions so is flying through the back in fact he is increasing his lead all the time over the time time two laps to go then for the final at Bain in count of 6 one zero. half a dot to get the latest to be lapped and there goes Harry Andrews in second some way drift I was still waiting for third to come through. And in third place, it's now 78, Lee Macy. So McVay lapped all everybody now up to uh, fifth place as Macy puts himself in the uh, fence. McVay takes it nice and easy around the outside. So only the top uh, first, second, and third, second and third rather, not being lapped by uh, McVay. In fact, everybody to fourth place now. So then the check is now coming through. It's taken by McBain who's now on the back bumper of the third place driver, that's Reese Parry. So McBain takes the win there, really takes it easily, but we're aiming for second place still. And here comes second place, Harry Andrews at number 10. And in fact, uh, McBain going to lap the third place driver, so only Harry Andrews not being lapped by the five McBain. Uh, so we're aiming for third, and here comes our race winner. Once again, uh, the third place driver will follow him across the line as we spare it and go on 7.0. The rest of them coming through to out to complete the distance. Let's keep him going, Mr. Starlock. Please, right, please.
Queen's Park goes down with a way and racing with the um, last chance for the national championship. And well, as expected, it's been a hair of scare and the oxy trouble already. He came the nice number four, he's gonna have a gaggle of cars down there. And cars are uh, going every which way at uh, the moment. So 273 the race leader just come back to his third job one. So Joel Bolden did away the uh, conditions far from ideal. Oh, and 500. Looks like he's going to go and uh, cause scales. There he indeed. He only does turn it around there. That's uh, a short early on. So then the drivers uh, making their way through this one. Brian Gilden there, waving right the mini is there, they all are on the back of the window trying to get somebody to blow him up. No obligers at the moment. Still 273 the race leader. Turn it on. Oh, 197 there, head on over there. The uh, drivers are struggling somewhat in this one, but so they are uh, making what progress they can. It's over them. Certainly not uh, having much of a problem at the moment. Uh, goes in there as was a car 27. Oh, and uh, Wes there trying to rejoin, but he gets, uh, comes under a certain assault. By the way, that was very really good. So then, looks like 195 Giddings down there causing a bit of chaos as well. And then possibly not even get 10 finishes here, Mr. Tyler. Reds, Mr. Tyler, Reds on the race right, Reds on the race right. Goes out here, back cross for 342 for his Mr. Starman, back cross for uh, 342. And 342 there going before the star, so 342 the race leader, but he's of course in the back cross. 273 Joby Bomb in second, 818 Louis O'Keefe next in line, and uh, somebody turning around there, it could well be 195. In fact, they're all stuck there. So 30 from the maze now the race leader, Mr. Tyler. And there were three laps to go next time, Mr. Tyler. Three laps next time around. So 30 from the maze the race leader, the rest come through. And in fact, there's a, a number of other finishes here. Is it going to be very many? Well, so number 30, well, 292 there on the uh, back end of 30 now. So 292 is actually a lap down, Mr. Starter. So 30, Brandon Bay's race leader, 292 is uh, going to come past him, or he's uh, a lap down, he's going back down the lead lap. So number 30 is still the race leader, Brandon Bay's. So number 30, Brandon Bay's the race leader. 3-4-2 in second spot. Now it uh, stands at the moment. So 
So let's see the race leader though. For nine, five innings it looks like causing more chaos over there. Although Keith is stopped in his tracks. That's counted down over our race leader from Amazing Canal 30. Grabs it at a qualifying spot. Straight to the fence out there. Problems out there for the blue tops who crashed together. And Lewis Ivan involved in that as well. They can the 717. There goes the leader. And that's 840. That one again leads away. Tom Lindgren in trouble down here. But well, this uh, drivers really are doing exceptional to race on this track, which is now completely flooded. Trouble two, Manny High spun out of contention. Uh, 51 Licorice going in with a bit of an attack there on Bish. So then Bish uh, finding himself in a bit of trouble. Tommy, that night, Tommy Callahan there. 51 Licorice goes off. A40 Dan Waddingham still the race leader. The Volvo there leading the way. He's just got past the. Darren Fenley, that's him. Seven five three, Billy Cunningham is second. Two six seven, March. 
Puck one six two there. Oh, and we've got Connor Osborne. He's turned it around. Looks like he's about to cause a bit of chaos. And it's kind of a two one four. Oh, the leader's gone. The leader's gone. Martin French goes in there. Takes a few into uh, the pile down there. 753 your leader just gone past you, Mr. Starr. Billy Cunningham. Billy Joe cutting on the race leader. Manny French in second in 26 away. 799 now. Nathan Young, who's come to reach that second place. Scott Osborne goes in. Boo! From Scott Osborne. Goes flying in there. Jordan Sharp goes in with a bit of a follow up. And 790 Nathan Young now leads the way, Mr. Starr. 790 Nathan Young, the race leader. Callum White there clicks the uh, Stranded Car. Goes. Uh, Pirouetting round, Darren Fenley also in trouble. But it's 790, the race leader, Nathan Young. So, so 790, Nathan Young leads. And we go Reds, Mr. Starter. Reds on the raceway, Reds on the raceway. Mushy now coming through to second spot. Mushy is now second in 3 4 8. And Mushy's going to. Oh, and Conor Osborne going to try and cause more chaos in 2 1 4. And chaos he causes with uh, another good hit there. He takes out, um, it looks like Barrow that time out of third spot. On front though, it's Nathan Young who leads in Canada 7 9 0. Mushy is second in 3 4 8. And in comes uh, Callum White. And in Canada 100 with a shot there on Licorice. In Canada 51. So they're leading the race, 790 Young who leads, 348 Mushy still second. Cruncher now looks like he's up to third place in Calibre 1 at 1 9. But it's Nathan Young who leads. Three laps to go this time, he started three laps this time, sorry about the late notice there. But it's three laps to Nathan Young. Mushy is catching all the time in Calibre 348. 119 Cruncher is in third spot, then he looks like family comes from being lap down earlier on up to fourth. They got on the back straight, it's Nathan Young who leads one well, she is catching all the time in Canada 3 4 8. Mushy about to make his challenge here, puts the bumper in, tries to knock and Nathan Young wide in Canada 7 9 0. Cruncher is closing all the time as well in Canada 1 9. The top two tangle is going to be Mushy now who comes through in Canada 3 4 8. taken up from Nathan Young in Canada 7 9 0. Cruncher is coming through well in Canada 1 1 9. Don't just clear out Cruncher, Cruncher goes in there on the other, that's probably allowed Mushy to get away in Canada 3 4 8. It's Mushy now who leads. In 3 4 eight, going down the back straight, Nathan Young in all sorts of trouble in Calibre 7 9 0, and Cruncher will now come through to second spot in Calibre 1 1 9. Darren Fenley looks like he's going to try to cover it. Lotus Cruncher's gone! Cruncher goes out there, he spins out of it in car number 1 1 9. Mushy is miles out in front now, Darren Fenley up to second in 6 7 3. 7 9 0, Nathan Young is third, and it looks like we only have three left circulating in this Nutcracker Championship. Somebody else there rejoining the action, but it is going to be the checker flags being prepared. And Mushy just needs to uh, negotiate this bat mark and make sure nothing uh, silly happens. And it's a nutcracker win for 3 4 8 Mushy. Coming on in second place is Fenley in Canada 6 7 3, and Nathan Young completing the uh, top three in 7 90. Matthew High also going to get some points on the board 
as he gets going late. But uh, the top five as he does complete the uh, distance. And okay, this time it only was Red Spice.
WCC National Championship is on the way. Jack Yannick, who gets the break initially, could not start finish line. But he gets forced wide, and it's going to be Ricky Turnbull. The Lisa Wood is Turnbull, but again, Turnbull is uh, forced wide. The conditions are uh, not the best by a long shot. Simon Smith gets caught out in 589. Paul Hyland has gone down into the pilot down there and leading the National Championship for the first time. So then it's going to be 83 David Lokes who takes it up now ahead of 479 John Jubbles. Oh, and in there goes Giddings into the back of uh, 27, and there's a bit of a pile of forming down there on the roadside bend. But David Lokes, the race leader in calibre 83. Yeah, 83 leads going down the back straight into uh, turns one and two. And he's absolutely flying at the minute. The all-white car, it was right before this one. Still on the presenting machine. Cruncher could be up to second now. Nine, but uh, we need that one confirming. Oh, and somebody there. Uh, who's that? John and Sharp really going on one in a can of eight to eight. Got some good spots here in the box who can identify these cars. So then, the race leader coming towards us is David Oates to the lead. In car number 83. David Lux, race leader in car number 83. Country in second place. In car number 119. And Dean Mays up to third. In car number 730. So, oh my word. Some big shots going on out there. Going out of turns three and four. Big get on happening. All sorts going on. 27, he gets annihilated there by Carl Gilligan right in the back of him. But up front and leading is David Lokes going down the back straight still. Trying to negotiate another lap. The chaos are raging all the way around him. It's going on all the way around this Adrian Flux Arena. But David Lokes with his new leads. Here he comes through and now a double lap completed by the driver of Conor 83, David Lokes leading the way. Second place driver will come through now. It's still puncher with Dave Mays right behind him in kind of a 730 in that third spot. David Lokes now in a sandwich of cars. It's tricky stuff. Going past these back marks. David Lokes coming under attack. There's a race leader. Oh, the race leader. There's half spot. He does manage to correct it though, but he still leads the way in Calibre 83. Behind him, there's chaos going around all the way around the raceway. Plenty of all the all four attacks and action going on down there. David Lokes, the race leader in Calibre 83, though, trying to negotiate his way past this traffic. He managed to do that once again. Goes down the back straight. The blue and blacks, the orange and whites, really having a set to down there. And uh, lots and lots of action going on in this one so far. But the right box comes through again. It's David Lokes, who still leads. It looks like it'll be Dean Mays, though, it's second place in Calibre 730. He's there, oh, Dean Mays. He's out of jail. The leader's gone. The leader's gone. What a shame! What a shame! He's going so well. Dean Mays is caught up as well. In kind of a 730. It looks like could not be crunchy taking the outside line. Very difficult to tell from up here. But uh, well, there's crunchy there going through. There's logs going through. Well, we'll try and work out what's going on now, Mr. Start. It was all changed on that last lap. Crunchy, we think, start the leader, Mr. Saddle, 119. David Oaks, think up in the second place. 119, Cruncher leads the way. Oh, David Lokes is stopped again. David Lokes is stopped again there, and Lokes comes under a big attack down there. Very, very action-packed race, this one. Cruncher it is, we believe, who leads. He's gone through again, Mr. Starter. 119, David Cox. We'll try and work out who's second. Definitely not letting work in his 608, he's been involved in the action over there. So Cruncher the leader, he's gone through. Possibly 2 3 one Alex Smith in second place, Mr. Fowler. And Dean Mays back up to third in 730, is how we see it at the moment. So it looks like Cruncher is the race leader. In Carnival 119. Cruncher goes through again. And no lap completed. Cruncher negotiating his way past the uh, 
area down there where all the action is. Possibly Axe Alex Smith now second. B Mays possibly back up to third spot. The count of 7 3 0. Side level check what's going on. Crunchy goes down the end of the lap completing. There are three laps to go next time, Mr. Starter. Three laps next time around for Cruncher in Carnival 119. Leads the way now the uh, pilot on the turns one and two has now cleared itself. DMA's there. Looks like he's going to be making a move into second spot in Carnival 730. So Cruncher is in leading on one night. More cars though trying to get their way down to the action zone. 39 Ryan Nunes gets going once again. Mays goes through and a lot completed by him. Well look at the lead. Couldn't have held by Cruncher. There he goes, 119. The race leader. More action down there with all the stocking head on. David Cox gets his way through, looks like Davies lacks all up of having second and third at the moment. So I don't have a lot to go for being prepared. Still think it's 2 3 1 second, 7 3 third. But uh, contrary to the lead, and uh, David now about to lap. Dean. So David now just one lap to complete, just has to negotiate. That pile of Perry, he does that well. Going down the back straight. Oh my word, Alex Smith there comes under attack in it. In 2 3 1, he was in second place. And is that going to clear for the leader? It does indeed. David Cox takes it. He kind of 1 9. Alex Smith gets going again. Still in second. In fact, he should pass. David has now lapped the entire field. We've still got the battle for second going on between 2 3 1 and 7 30. So David Cox goes down the back straight. Alex Smith, we think he's second. Davies completed the action, Mr. Starter. We're still waiting for second and third to come through. And it looks like second and third now coming. I think it's Alex Smith second. And Dino in third. Not many more still surviving this one. The reaction's still going on. Okay, we start out the rest, please. Listen, wow, one. <laughs> I'll tell you what, mate, what an absolute quality drive that was from start to finish. Listen, the track conditions are hard enough when everything's going on over there as well to keep picking your way through at the pace you did as well. Uh, that was fantastic to watch. I had one eye shut. Yeah, that's <laughs> helped yeah. me. <laughs> yeah, it, it looked like it was definite hard work out there for you. Most definitely. Hold yeah. on the steering wheel more than anything. Yeah. But again, another title here. You keep clocking them up, mate. It's absolutely superb. Yeah, that is my last thing today as well. That's what you tell me. That is, yeah. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Go out as a champion. I can't let the lad do it, I? 
Well, listen, he's certainly one for the future, that is for sure, isn't he? Well, for a little while, anyway. Yeah, yeah that's all right. I was going to say, but, um, yeah, fantastic stuff. There, he's here now, look. He, I'll tell you what, a bit like that, that mud pack on, he looks a bit like Batman, doesn't he? Yeah, uh, but yeah, over the moon. Yes, mate, yeah. Yeah. Fantastic stuff, mate. I'm really pleased for you. We'll get the uh, trophies and that. We've got, got them all set up. Here, our qualifying points winner, which was 69, Brad Bartram. Well done, sir. Uh, how was the race for you? Rubbish. Yeah. Is the politest way of saying yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's not the easiest conditions, is it? I couldn't see. Like, I mean, I know everyone couldn't, but I had to, like, scoop it out of my eyes. And then, yeah, the car was really broke, so. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough, mate. Listen, there'll, be, there'll always be another race. Hopefully. Yeah. Top man. It gets better. Yeah. <laughs> good luck, mate. Right, he was going to have a good run round, and he and he did, mate. Well done. Well, just had to keep out of trouble. Yeah. It was chaotic out there, mate. It was it was good racing, though. Yeah, good racing. Well, at least you managed to keep your head this time, and like in the micro UK when you were leading it. Yeah, don't go there about that. I'm still getting it in the air by Emma. <laughs> Understandable. But listen, this is your second time in the top three now. You're obviously really. Well accustomed. It wasn't an Astra that you did it in last time, however. I think it was a, a Civic, wasn't it? Or a Honda of some sort? Yeah, it was a Honda Civic. Of course, that was uh, seven years ago. 2017, wasn't it? Yeah, couple, seven years ago. Eight years. Yeah, I think it was six, seven years ago, 100%. I couldn't believe it when I read it either, but yeah, it, it's good. The form's still there. Oh, yeah. Just, it's anyone's race, isn't it? Yeah. It is when it descends into that, mate. But like I said to you, when I come in, there's one of 30 drivers who could have won that easily. Oh, yeah. Yeah, especially that day. It was hectic. It was mental out that day. Back out for the next one. See if I see where I'm going first. <laughs> well, I was meant to drive up, apparently. I'm not too sure. Uh, right, go on then, mate. Get yourself on board. Second place, and here he comes. Great to have him back. Fantastic to have him here. He's doing really good things at the minute. Uh, always one of the quickest boys down there, quite underrated as well. Jack, congratulations, you must be over the moon. Yeah, yeah, I'm buzzing to be fair. It's, it's good to be here, and to be fair, if you finish our race, yeah. you're buzzing. It was chaos, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it definitely was. I was just hitting walls and hoping for the best. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say right at the start of oh no, because you sort of like got put at the wall by one of the guys in behind you, but you managed to regather it and, and sort of get to the inside, then it seemed to help you out. Yeah, yeah, as soon as you hit that outside stuff, you're hitting a wall, and that's all that happened, and I just couldn't get back out of it, to be fair. And then managed to get yourselves going again and then find your feet. Dave was a long way down the road, but yeah, I mean, to be honest with you, you were plenty clear enough in second. Yeah, to be fair, I didn't know where I was, so as long as I finish, it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> well done, mate. Great to see you. Get yourself on board there. And uh, right, you can't believe it, can you, that this man won this race back in 1994 and he wins it... <laughs> No, no, honestly, right, and um, in 1994, yeah, this is serious, yeah, take that, we're quite big. But, uh, he says it's his last, it's not. Time, you know, while that was wet like this. I know. It's about to drive in the rain, isn't it? <laughs> Over the moon, Davey. Yes, mate, yeah. Yeah, it's great to see, listen, you, you know, you've been with us for a long time, getting some good results, and listen, still showing people the way around, absolutely flat out. Yeah, when you're old, you take it steady on the bends instead of going straight in. Yeah, yeah. You know. yeah I did see that, to be honest with you. I mean, you must have thought it was your birthday. I was waiting for my frame when I got out. <laughs> Brilliant stuff. Um, and you we defended it from uh, the back next year, maybe, if you're not doing another meeting? Maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Ask the wife. Yeah. Into her. <laughs> well, what's that chant? Go bed in it? One more year. One more... <laughs> right, let's get him on board. Then Davey Cruncher Cox, your champion for 2023. On board he gets. Great stuff. Ben, you must be over the moon for him. Uh, very proud, yeah. Yeah, yeah it was uh, a plan that. Um, if one of us is up there, try and do everything to uh, yeah. keep it there. But. Um, I couldn't see nothing, so I didn't know where anyone was. Yeah. The... I have to say, I, I knew he was at the head of affairs, um, but yeah, I, apart from that, it was just carnage. But worth it. Absolutely right, mate, absolutely right. Right, there we go, get the boys on board, brilliant stuff.
attack as soon as the green flag goes down. Survives it initially, but then uh, gets to, towards the infield. Just get going though. Young uh, Simon McCaggett also in trouble as he also gets there for the infield. Pulls out Murray Hall, who's usually installed right in the middle of the track. Uh, he fires it up and gets going again though, but uh, gets covered by one of the cars behind him. Up front then it's all going on and uh, we've got 669 William Cartwright leading the way. William of course lead number one for a decent distance before uh, finding himself in trouble. We're down here then it's 669 who leads the way, William Cartwright. Second place is for all over and Ali Calvert surviving the skirmishes earlier on and only place to make it right in 707. Six six nine William Cartwright, uh, the race leader. So no. So then we're just uh, checking the results, Mr. Start of Hot 707. Alfred Hudson was already qualifying for the final, so can you give 707 a black flag, please? Because he will not uh, count the results on this one. Obviously, didn't realise he qualified and has uh, come out. So, a black flag for 707, just so he's not wasting his uh, time out there. So, he's uh, leading the way. It is uh, about the 478 is it who comes to the front? Morgan Bailey. 478 the leader now, Mr. Starter. So all the young's on the back straight is 707. Who uh, needs a black flag as he's already qualified with a fourth place in his feet. So it uh, will not count in this one. So here comes the actual race leader now. It's 478 Morgan Bay in the lead. Not enjoyed the best of luck in recent meetings, but uh, good to see him up there. Then we've got an unidentified machine. They come back flying on fields again. 707 is supposed to be black flag, but if you're wrong, but he's already qualified. 478 then the leader, Morgan Bailey. So 478 Bailey leads the way. So 248 second 51. John Maynard in third place, but he gets. Uh, not out on the slippery stuff on that one, but it's still 478, Bailey elite. Now starting his way through to second place, it looks like 167. That's Bo Barnes, and look like, well, he's had some damage from somewhere. Could well be a lot down from Barnes, actually. So then 478, Bailey leads the way. Oh, the flying off route. Numbers getting rather difficult to read of here. Please bear to show you numbers are clean if you want to be that scored. Some of these just haven't been cleaned from the heat. And if they're not that scored, it is their responsibility. So I don't leave in the way. Morgan Bailey, count number 478. In second place, 78 Lee Macy now second. In fact, Bailey puts himself in the fence out there. So it's Lee Macy who takes it up now in car number 78. 78 Lee Macy in the race leader. 609 Levi Murphy in second. Rocks winding now, no one's got to the event. Here comes the race leader, Lee Macy in 78. 609 Levi Merkin though. Certainly not giving up the ghost on this one, Bailey back in third. Oh, Bailey back in the fence as well. Exactly as he did the right before. Looks like a magnetic attraction. For the fourth time now, you have to go away, Yellows with Stara. Yellows on the race, mate. Check it out. 
If that goes down, we're away and racing. With this one, the uh, limited bangers first all comes race. Kieran Gray, the first one to spin out of contention. Comes all those massive high, uh, comes under fire. In Calibre Triple Two. And uh, several cars spun out of it in this one. So, oh dear me. James Licorice gets uh, put into the fence with its triple attack. Kieran Gray rejoins, half or so down. And here's your race leader, Mr. Starter. A23, Jamie Morelli Dizzy leads away. So A23, Jamie Morelli, the race leader. Oh, is that Conor Osborne? With the head on, indeed it is. So Conor Osborne, oh, and head on down here as well. As uh, Kieran Gray looks like Kieran Woods. Involved in that one. So 823 the leader. 790. Oh, oh and uh, Kieran Woods escapes to the safety of the infield. And we think Kieran Gray was not giving him the helping hand. So not uh, a lot left in this one. So 790 leading Nathan Young. So then Licorice turning around down there. Who's Licorice after? There it goes. Uh, Who's James? Calls it a bit of chaos. Seven ninety still the race leader, Mr. Starter. So Jamie Morrell certainly involved in the action in this one. Dara Fenley now taking it up, Mr. Starter. Dara Fenley and Morel there. Even with a cracking head on there. James Licorice goes to join the fumble. Dara Fenley is who leads. Well, that's it. I also going in there with a decent shot. Oh, and he goes 2 8 5 as well. Avoid V Rama. Two limos here today, I'll have to be the wrong one. I'm 50 50 chance. Well, V 
very, very vitally right then. Nels Besch in the 43. Trouble to my eye again. Then we've got another shot. Still, uh, so we two laps this time. Sorry, Mr. Starr, two laps this time for Darren Fenley in Canada 673. So Nathan Young in second, but uh, close to being lapped by the uh, race leader. The guy was uh, certainly willing to uh, question this one. So the lap's now winding down. And the checker now being prepared. Darren Fenley takes it. In 6 7 3. The uh, rest of them are going to come through and complete the distance. In fact, uh, Fenley lapping Nathan Young before Young gets to the line, so Fenley will have the entire field in this one. Young now finishing second. Okay, that'll do, Red Space.
the early advantage on this one. Well, sticking to the inside lines, one more three. Bobby Waller, our driver of the day from uh, back in September, got his world in the pits. The new guys just coming out of the final. He got all the in the constellation, but he gets a uh, force wide on that one. Going down the back straight and uh, loses a couple of spots. Looks like he's going to come back in third place, but having now taken the lead and uh, coming towards us is 713 Oscar Preston. Second place is 668 George Colvin, 108. Oh my word, Archie Hallward hits the tyre there, bounces out, gets punched out by Shane Murphy in car number 270. That's the roll, okay. Cody went there, takes the uh, outside line to avoid that there. Merkin moves back a bit. But it's Preston who leads. And uh, we've got Wade Yellows, Mr. Starr, Wade Yellows on that one. So, uh, is he going to stop him here at the ideal? The leader is. So the lead car there, Oscar Preston, the Yellows come out just to allow the Archie Hallwood car to be moved. So Oscar Preston leads the way in calibre 713. Second spot, it's a 68 George Colvin. Reese Parry is absolutely flying already up to third place. In calibre 750, as uh, Levi Murky goes out the sloppy stuff in calibre 609 and loses some places. So then, Parry sit the front now in calibre 750, and really, this one could all be over. Bar the uh, shouting, because uh, he's no slouching around here. Parry in the race leader in calibre 750, going much, much better on the uh, dry earth track. Not dry track, this is not to be called a dry earth track. Oh my word, Lexi Finney gets all that shame down the uh, home straight. She keeps uh, propelling herself the right way though. But uh, leading the way, so Miss Hood over there is like uh, Kowalski Oscar Preston. It's 713. Leading the way though, it's Parry. In Canada 750. Second place, it's uh, Levi Merkin. Back up to there. We need to try and clean those numbers, please, John. Very difficult to see. So then, it is Birkin who leads. Not so much not Birkin, it's Barry. There he is, 750. In second place, it is 610, who were uh, absolutely flew on the very wet track. The very dirty looking Levi Birkin is next in line in third. Yeah, straight in down there. We said the uh, bird might have flown on this one and uh, Parry really is slicing his way through the map markers nicely in this one. 6.10 second, 6.09 third. No doubt about who's leading around here, he calls in uh, splendid isolation. 750 reach Parry, the race leader. The rest of the coming through the whole post of that marker, the 610 second place, 609 third. But uh, near half a lap lead at the moment. Good old Frank K. Johnson, he goes out. He's pounding it is now, just uh, got stuck in steady. Got three laps to go next time, we start with three laps next time. So he's carrying the race leader. 609 Levi Murky. Doing his best to um, put in a challenge for second place. Murky, oh my word, there is some Matt Marcus Tangle there. A bit in front of the leader, but uh, not going to cause any sort of problem. For uh, Parry, who's absolutely fine. Oh, but uh, Kovovic chases second now, and Bain goes a bit wide, but so does Merkin. The lap's now counting down. 
Can Murphy catch? Six ten for second place. That's not a real interest in this one. Six ten with Bain knocks uh, the back marker out of the way. Murphy doing what he can to reel him in in this battle for second place. Barry misses the lead, then he comes 750. One lap to go then, for each Barry. Way out in front of this one. You say the real interest is back here in the uh, five for second place. 610 McVeigh versus Merkin in 609. And I think uh, McVeigh has just won that one. As uh, Merkin took a wide line. Well, there you go, that power is going to take a check of five dominating performance. And the Wisby driver, and the 7.50 in second place. But it's always second spot there for uh, 6.10. 6.09 Merkin completing the top three. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Not happening there. Okay, Mr. Starr, that will do. Rest, please. Oh, then, oh dear. He tries 
to uh, do an awful tackle uh, for misses. Four nine five now back in front. That's quite sure all those great guys in all sorts of trouble. It's a shame he's going well. And the leader now going into the back straight. One nine five, Mr. Dollar. Good selection of shots going on. Entering the match right. So the uh, match of passes the race goes on. Not uh, too many drivers left circulating. One nine five goes past there, which is now easy race leader. So 13 second place and 733rd. In fact, those two battling together there. D Mains, in fact, now going in front of Brandon. But it's uh, still so full of miles behind our race leader, who's uh, 195 Giddings. Giddings is going to see an hour to start it. Yeah, you've got in there, 195 Giddings. The race leader, three laps to go next time. Three laps next time around for 195 getting two leads. 730 Mays in second place now. And 30 Mays in third. The end of the back straight. The little driver's turning around. Looking for something back to the top there in that uh, next connect. Oh my word, got me crunching head on there. Halfway down the uh, back straight. Couple of laps to go there, Giddings. Really out by himself there, just following Brad Bartram around. And Brad Bartram goes wide there, Giddings will dive. On the inside of him, but uh, keeping a lot of trouble is Giddings in 105. Uh, One lap to go down for our race leader, Giddings in 105. Too much room to avoid now in this one. Todd Wise prepared, goes up. Goes down there, get his takes it, 105. Better check it. Red and checker, Mr. Starler, red and checker. Goes together the Ultimate Sport League Junior Baggers. 
Chris Pine here on the lap and it's off. He will get double points should he get to the top ten. But now it's over to you, Mr. Let's go rolling with the uh, Junior Bayer All Comers Race. Race is 519 EV Smith, 711 Warren Hudson, second 627 Courtney Webb in that third place. The rest of them come flying all the through, and uh, the Red Tops going through now as well. Look at that 609 EV Van Merkin, we can actually see his spin point now. So, uh, well done, John. Good job. Oh my word, it's all. Uh, down there so the leader goes out there is uh, Amy Smith oh and uh, the new leader spun out as well is uh, Warren Hudson so it's all changing we have a parking lot down there now uh, we've got Wave Yellows Mr. Star and Wave Yellows In the uh, Junior Vanger all comers, they see me Smith who leads them away, gets a bit of a reprieve with uh, the complete reach with the restart from the stoppage on that one. As the question out in the previous restart, but right now it's the Lewis Paul who is from the count of 39. So Paul leads going down the back straight. Rest of coming flying on through. Amy Smith in the middle of trouble over 519. It's Lewis Borey who leads in Canada 39. In second place at 610. Alex McBain has had a fantastic uh, night here and day. Top three's all the way so far for Alex. Looks like he's on uh, course for another one in this race. Third place is uh, Amy Smith in Canada 519. Rest of still flying on through. Reese Pine is making eye catching progress from our handicap. Well, he's had the top 10 already. Looks like Jamal 2 has come to a, a hole down there. Right uh, on the racing lines, going to make, uh, make it a bit interesting for our leaders. Of course, Courtney Webb as she retires at Calibre 627. She uh, finds the gear and gets going once again. But up front leading the way. It is Baldwin who's taking command of this in Canada 39. In second place still is Alex McBain in Canada 610. Third place Jane Ellis driving well on her return to racing in Canada 85. And it's Amy Smith next in line in 519. And in fifth place, some lap handicap, it is Reese Parry, who's already found a way past all the red tops. Baldwin leads in 39. Way out in front now. McBain Jr. is second in Calibre 610. Ellis third in 85. Then Evie Smith in 519. And uh, Reese Parry in Calibre 750. Reese Parry going to try and make the second place off Evie, which he does coming out of uh, turn two. Parry moves into fourth place. Paul Green is who leads on Calibre 39. And Bay Junior flying still in 610. It takes a bit of a wide line there, though that could be a bit of a problem for it. Goes on the outside of the good machine. And that is going to allow Jade Ellis to close right up to McBain in Calibre 85. 
Maurice Parrott also flying through from four points in Canada 750. I don't think anybody's going to catch our flying leader. Lewis Baldwin, unless something happens, but here's the real interest in this. The battle for second between McBain Jr. and Jay Dallas. Jay Dallas there, ooh, goes in there and uh, they both go in the sloppy stuff. Parry's going to be the one who takes advantage of all that. So he nicks up the right inside line. Makes a bit more, uh, gains a bit more between the uh, second and third place. But three laps to go next time, Mr. Starr. Three laps next time for Baldwin, who's now miles out front. In calibre 39, Jay Dallas is in second place now in 85. Parrid is now in third, top three, from a lap handicap. For the 750 pilots. Oh, he could well be going up for second soon. Jay Dallas makes a move to stay there. Parrid is uh, certainly on the charge still. As uh, Lewis Baldwin takes a three laps to go board. And although winning the race might be out of Parrid's sight, getting some white new Baldwin there, getting a bit dice with some of these black markers. Only taking a few chances. Parry moves in second place now in Calibre 750. The Bay Jr. in third. Oh, Parry there clips the uh, dead car and McBay Jr. retakes that second spot from Parry. Jay Dallas also still in the picture. Real good battle for second, third, and fourth. And oh my word! McBay Jr. ends up in the fence. And uh, Alice, who was uh, taking a bit of a dive there, which went all wrong. So uh, her end up in the loose stuff, and that's probably allowed Lincoln Douglas to come through into third place. So the way it is now, it's Lewis Paul leading by the country mile. Oh my word, Lincoln Douglas there clashes with uh, Jane Ellis. And Jane Ellis certainly in the wars over these last couple of laps. Courtney Webb also there, and uh, a bit of a pile up there with those cars. Lewis Paul will take the wide outside line. Parry, well he's going to have to for second I think, in car was 7.50 and uh, but the leader, well is the leader going to stop? Oh my word, the leader stopped on the final lap and that's going to uh, make the final and all covers double, is it? You know the uh, conditions really taking effect on some of these cars but not the one of 7.50 Parry who wins the all comers from the lap handicap, fantastic drive there by uh, Reese. Shame though for Lewis Baldy, really had it in the bag, it's a fantastic drive from Lewis as well. We'll see what else is going to happen with this one, looks like Lincoln Douglas will come home in second place in 556. And, um, well, who's going to be third? 519, Evie Smith possibly, is Evie on the lead lap still? Yes, she is, that's confirmed, so uh, those top three. And there's anybody else all coming around. Courtney Webb, she's going to complete the distance. So it's 33. And uh, so it's 41. I think that's some more understand OK, Red can stay ahead or if they'll be hunted down by the two stars which are very very quick as well Tom England though is a pretty um, quick driver here at Kingsley 
for the White Sox. It can well be difficult to catch, even for two speedy merchants such as Kieran Gray and uh, Darren Fenley. But uh, Connor Osborne is turning around straight away. Lingren avoids it. Is Osborne going to go for one of the uh, Red Top drivers? Is he going to go for Fenley or Kieran Gray? No, he got scared himself. Lined up again, which Tom Lingren and Leeds, he can't hold some four. Licorice is second. Oh my word, Lingren there, right out in the uh, sloppy stuff. So it's Lingren who leads, and Lingren could well be the target of uh, Osborne, or it could be Licorice. But Osborne, oh my word, Lingren's uh, spun himself out there and comes under attack there from Osborne. And as you see, Licorice taking up now in Canada 51. So James Lickrish, the race leader. Well, the family gets through there into second spot. And Kieran Gray still third. So Osborne is after somebody. Is it going to be Licorice who's leading the way? It looks like he's trying to square Licorice up. And uh, Licorice is always going to have a bit of that, isn't he? Licorice says, thank you very much. And Fenley it is now who takes the lead. Three laps to go for Fenley. Karen Gray in second place. James Licorice still under some power there. Here's Licorice, going to cause a bit of chaos for these last few cars that are still going around, but Licorice looks like he might uh, try and make life a bit difficult for uh, Darren or Kieran, who have this uh, two laps to go, and uh, James possibly positioning himself to create a bit of a... Uh, it's all England there. And then Darren Fenley comes on through. You know, Fenley there takes the uh, outside line. Karen Gray likewise. And then he leaves get to a little additional traction to get going. Oh, it's Fenley who pulls away from. And it's uh, one lap to go. So James Lickrish, one lap left to cause some mischief and this time he's backing right to the outside so that uh, Darren or uh, Kieran can't uh, avoid him by going around the outside to make it so he can't do the inside out shot so uh, what's James got planned here could well make this an interesting final then he's going to try and go Darren Fenley there he is oh Fenley comes under attack there from Lickery Kieran Gray's going to say thank you very much I'll take that one Darren Fenley still going to finish an excellent second spot but uh, a bit of uh, interest there, well done to Connor and uh, James for really winding that one up. Yeah, we'll so then, uh, will there be any takers for the VD? Well, it doesn't look like uh, much there, so it will be. Red flags please, Miss Star, and red flag threes. Five cars uh, and still a decent bit of action. Connor Osborne and James Licorice doing everything they can to uh, entertain you. And Kieran Gray wins.
because now we're away and racing. Nine cars out there for the final race of the day. Well, once again, be five laps to go. Next time, Mr. Sauer, five laps next time around. It's 2.05 who leads the way. Nick Bull, Alex Thorksby in second place in kind of a 974. The Yorks are sticking to the inside line there. So let's see what happens with this one. The Wild Boy is who leads. Max Ball in camera 205. In second place is 974. That's the Oaks. In second place and in third place is 257 Ben Waddingham. So somebody's turning around over there. And that's going to be. Oh my word! Stop the Oaks there. That was a teeth rattle. So 197 it was Ben Woodward there, stopping the Ox with a head on. So he's 2 or 5 Max Ball leads, puts himself on the fence down there. Zippy up to second place. Oh my word, and the ball comes in, does the Ox from behind. So then, it's 566 Zippy who uh, hits the front. And uh, 566 Zippy is the lead. So they're still leading the way. Five six six zip is the leader then. And everybody is there, then Mr. Stana. 12 hour max ball second. Then what do you 257 next in line? Five six six if he leads the way. It's 205 Max Ball. So in second place, despite blowing up the Ox. And 257 Ben Waddingham next in line. Black and White being prepared. It's a race win for 566, Zippy. So if I believe it comes to a second. And who's going to win that battle for third place? It's Ben Wally in 257. Instead of uh, Brad Barton in 69. And go yellow please Mr. Starr away the yellows. So remember the yellows now this is a chance for people to come on or off the track. We're doing the DD. So then these drivers need to make the way on track. So what they're now doing, not like many people have gone on actually. Grace with a zippy, he's going to go in the middle. Now the others are giving everybody a chance to come on track. Okay, let's go green, Mr. Starter. Green, green, green. Right then. So let's see what's going on this one. Solid head on that one. Didn't quite catch that one there. Two and four is it involved.
So the Mr. Stay will be a black cross if he comes past you for 3 4 2. Be a black cross for 3 4 2 should he come past you. Shot down there on the right side, Ben. 3 4 2, Freddie. Critton and unfortunately being asked to be all a little bit too long. So he receives a black cross. It means he could get an stand award should he deserve that, but he will not be eligible for victory in the DD. And this is, they say, a fight here to the Finicio. Which is he's still involved in his David Star. You know that, Bob and Fraser. It was Amy who told me it. So then we've got 5 one still going around. So what are you? And is it just Tom now going? Okay, right to check over starter, right to check it. A5 won the winner of the DD.